Today, we leave it up to Madden's super sophisticated logic system to determine the 2022 NFL Draft. We have the correct draft order set, we have the biggest offseason moves made, so we've set up Madden to give it its best opportunity to display its greatness. The journey begins now. Are you kidding me? Dumb game. It literally skipped the entire first round. I literally spent an entire hour setting everything up, and this is what happens. With the first pick in the 2022 NFL Draft, the Jacksonville Jaguars have selected Kayvon Thibodeau out of the University of Oregon, comes in at a 77 overall. With this being Madden, this pick could have been so much worse. With pick number two, the Detroit Lions select Aiden Hutchinson out of Michigan, comes in also at a 77 overall. With pick number three, the Houston Texans select Kyle Hamilton, safety out of Notre Dame, coming in at a 75 overall, another solid pick. With pick number four, the New York Jets select 78 rated Evan Neal, the highest rated player so far. With pick number five, the New York Giants select Akeem Ikwanu out of North Carolina State, comes in at a 76 rated. So far, these top five picks haven't been way too ridiculous. I mean, honestly, I'm surprised we haven't had a freaking running back picked yet. Now, the craziest pick of the draft yet with selection number six, the Carolina Panthers select George Karloftis, defensive end out of Purdue, the lowest rated player yet at 72 overall. He does have hidden development. Development, though, with their second pick of the first round already with selection number seven, the New York Giants select Amai Sauce Gardner out of Cincinnati, 75 rated. I really can't believe he fell to number seven. Pick number eight, I love it. The Falcons select Derek Stingley Jr. out of LSU, 77 rated, one of the higher rated players so far. With selection number nine, the Seahawks take Charles Cross, offensive tackle out of Mississippi State. I can't believe he's as low as a 72 overall. Given Seattle's offensive line issues, I think this is another really good pick. Pick. The fourth pick already from New York in this draft, selection number 10, Jordan Davis out of Georgia, comes in at a 76 overall. I mean, I didn't expect this pick, but I mean, it's Jordan Davis. Now, it's up to you guys in the comment section below to let me know if you like or dislike your favorite team's picks in today's video. Don't shoot the messenger, bro. I'm not Madden. With pick number 11, the Washington Commanders select Drake London, wide receiver out of USC, comes in at 77 overall. This guy is a monster. Monster. And look at this top three, bro. Two wide receivers in a row off the board. The Vikings with pick number 12 go with Garrett Wilson, one of the two Ohio State receivers that you'll probably see in this first round. Comes in at 75 overall, arguably the best receiver in the draft, although his hair's got something wrong with it. Look at this. Justin Jefferson, Thielen, and Garrett Wilson. Probably my surprise of the draft so far. We have the Houston Texans with pick number 13, taking cornerback Andrew Booth out of Clemson, coming in at a 70 for overall. Good player, just didn't think he'd get drafted this high. Don't know if Ravens fans will like this one or not, but with pick number 14, the Ravens select offensive guard Kenyon Green out of Texas A&M, coming in at 72 overall, which I think is tied for the lowest overall drafted yet. I told you he was gonna show up sooner rather than later. Another Ohio State receiver off the board with pick number 15, the Eagles select Chris Olave, wide receiver, 74 rated out of Ohio State. With back-to-back -back picks, the Eagles with pick number 16, taking a Kobe Dean middle linebacker out of Georgia. He's only a 71 for some reason in this game, but I think this guy's a stud. Another wide receiver off the board with pick number 17. The Chargers select Traylon Burks, wide receiver out of Arkansas. I know a lot of teams and their fans are crying right now. Now, this one's insane. The first quarterback off the board, pick number 18. The New Orleans Saints select Matt Corral, quarterback out of Ole Miss. And he's only a 67 rated. I don't know about this one. One. Well, I guess the hidden development traits ran out because the Eagles with their third pick of the first round already select Kalir Elam, cornerback out of Florida, 73 rated, so at least he's not in the 60s like Matt Corral. Oh, I love this one with pick number 20. The Pittsburgh Steelers select Kenny Pickett, quarterback out of Pittsburgh. Three straight normal development traits, which is kind of an L, but at least that overall is basically like a 99. Yay, it's back and another 99 overall player. With pick 21, the Patriots select Dak Justin Hill, free safety out of Michigan. Good player. I just didn't think the Patriots were going to take a safety in round one. Don't know how Packer Nation will feel about this one because the Packers didn't take a wide receiver. With pick number 22, they take DeMarvin Leal, defensive end out of Texas A&M. Good player. 72 overall, hidden development. Just don't think they'll be happy because he's not a wide receiver. Speaking of wide receiver, the Arizona Cardinals with pick number 23 select Jahan Dotson, wide receiver out of Penn State. Does have hidden development, but his overall 
overall is a little low. With pick 24, the Cowboys go center. Tyler Lindenbaum out of Iowa. 73 rated has hidden development, so he's like the best prospect out of what, like the last five or six picks? The NFL draft always produces one of these strange picks. Was already spoiled when Madden screwed up the entire video idea, but with pick number 25, the Bills go Brees Hall, running back out of Iowa State. I mean, he's a 79 overall, but at the same time, like why? As a Titans fan, I really don't know how to feel about this, but with pick number 26, we found a way to land Malik Willis, quarterback out of Liberty. It's only 68 overall, only has normal development, so I really have no idea how to feel about this, so we'll just move on. Why does this look like Mazomatic with a horrible haircut? But regardless for the Buccaneers with selection number 27, they take Carson Strong, quarterback out of Nevada, and I think he's the only quarterback we've seen so far with hidden development. So yeah, Packers fans are not going to be happy. They go with another defensive end with selection number 28, Jermaine Johnson. He is a high overall with hidden development, but I just don't think they need a defensive end with both of their two first round picks. With pick number 29, the Chiefs select Roger McCreary, cornerback out of Auburn, 72 rated, hidden development, solid pick. They also have pick number 30 where they select Zion Johnson, offensive guard out of Boston College. I think this has probably been the best pick out of like the last 10 selections. So we actually have our second running back of the first round. With pick 31, the Bengals go Kenneth Walker out of Michigan State. I just don't know if they need a running back with normal development over another offensive lineman. But hey, I'm not an NFL GM. These prospects have got to find somebody different to cut their hair. I don't know if the haircut or the pick was worse. I don't think Christian Harris is a bad player, but with pick number 32, the final selection of the first round, the Lions take Harris. 71 overall with normal development. Now it's time for me to go through all the draft classes and find the biggest winners and the biggest losers. But first, let's take a quick listen to a word from today's sponsor. Similar to me, I'm sure there's at least a few of you out there that's been experimenting a little bit with the facial hair. You see it growing it out a little bit more than normal. And I'm also sure there's a ton of you out there who's ready to go quit the experiment and tame that bad boy. And that's where today's sponsor, Harry's, comes into play, who I'd like to thank for sponsoring today's video. Fast forward here a month into the future and thank God for Harry's because the beast has been tamed. If you don't necessarily know Harry's, now's the time you do. Harry's was created to be different from some of the other shaving companies that you may have heard of. Harry crafts high quality, long lasting blades and durable weighted handles that make a close and comfortable shave, quick and dare we say enjoyable. And what I love about Harry's is the fact that you shouldn't have to choose between a clean shave and a fair price. So they just give you both. Refill blades start as low as $2. $2. Pretty sure on its own that makes it a pretty easy decision, but what makes it an even easier decision? New Harry's customers get their starter set, which include a five blade razor, weighted handle, foaming shave gel with aloe, and a travel cover. It's a $13 value for literally just three bucks. Plus the fact that Harry's offers a whole range of amazing face and body care products for men delivered straight to your door. There's never been a better time to try Harry's, and you can simply go to harrys.com slash rbt. Once again, that's harrys.com slash rbt to get their starter set for just three bucks. It's 100% satisfaction guaranteed, so you've got nothing to lose. So once again, head on over to harrys.com slash rbt right this second to take advantage of this special offer. Oh my God, the Titans draft was literally horrible. I really can't believe the Bengals didn't draft one offensive lineman. Who is Chase Garbers? The Broncos didn't draft one player over 70 rated, although I really like the Kate Otten pick. There's just no way the Browns got Devin Lloyd in round two and Isaiah likely in round four. They also got the defensive end out of Minnesota. I'm not gonna lie, so far, I think the Browns have had, like, the best overall draft. I mean, the Bucks got their eventual Tom Brady replacement and their eventual replacement at center. Like, I think this is a solid draft. The Chargers got this defensive end out of Cincinnati in round three, and he's a 76 overall. I mean, to be honest, the Chiefs had a pretty good draft as well. Some really good players in there. Okay, so the Colts taking Trevor Pinning, who I really love, John Mechie, who I really love, and Jalen Tolbert, who I really, really love. They got him in the fifth round. Like, this, honestly, I think is the best draft so far. How in the world did the Cowboys get Jameson Williams in the second round? I mean, looking at the Eagles' overall draft, like, I think it's a really good one. I mean, the Falcons had a really good first few rounds, but they're still probably gonna suck. 49ers' highest-rated player at the entire draft is a 68-rated. So, apparently, the Giants are gonna take a quarterback here in round number two, Sam Howe, to maybe replace Daniel Jones. I really like the Jags' draft, too. I mean, they get Kayvon Thibodeau, David Ajabo, 
in round two, Sky Moore in round three. There'll be so many mixed opinions on the Jets draft. They got the tight end Jalen Weidermeyer out of Texas A&M. Basically, was a first round pick, and a lot of people think he's undraftable. But they immediately made up for it, getting Trent McDuffie in the second round. Lions didn't get a quarterback with their first round pick, but they did get Desmond Ritter with their second overall selection in the second round. The Packers literally didn't draft one wide receiver, so that's an L. No way the Saints got Christian Watson in the fourth round. But I think all that's left to do for today's video is literally sim through this next season and see what rookies ball out. Okay, so this is just ridiculous. This is just not really the standings that I expected. There's just no way. I told you this was a dumb game. Funny enough, I talked bad about this pick, but hey, AFC Offense Rookie of the Year goes to Brees Hall with the Bills. I mean, I think literally every pick I talked bad about ended up being in the top 10. Defensive Rookie of the Year goes to Kayvon Thibodeau. I mean, not a big surprise. I mean, he was the number one pick. According to Madden, I'm telling you, the Chargers got the absolute steal of the draft. Now, the NFC Defensive Rookie of the Year goes to Nicobe Dean, so everybody that's knocking him for his height. Madden at least thinks you're wrong. Aiden Hutchinson came in fourth place, Sauce Gardner in sixth. And Offensive Rookie of the Year goes to Garrett Wilson, wide receiver for the Minnesota Vikings. I don't know offensively which one of these guys was the steal of the draft. Was it Christian Watson around four, Jamison Williams at around number two? Well, hilarious enough, not one rookie quarterback even started this year. How did Brees Hall have 423 yards but 16 touchdowns? Okay, Olamide Zacchaeus is the number two receiver in the league for the Packers. This is wild. I mean, there's really been no breakout rookies at all this season. Yeah, the one guy that I knocked was the leading receiver out of all draftable players. More yards than Kyle Pitts already. Let's just see who makes this Super Bowl. I promise you I didn't do this. Like, it's not me. Oh, what do you know? Just another reason for me to cry myself to sleep.